All right, yesterday's video that I shot last night got all screwed up, and I don't know what happened to it, but somehow it just got screwed up. So I'm going to redo one armature. I'm going to show you how I made this little armature that matches exactly this horse. And the way I did it was uh, after I got several suggestions from uh, uh, YouTubers online, and I think one gentleman from my blog uh, who uh, all suggested I uh, do this process, I'm going to show you what they were talking about. Now, I'm going to put nails at different points on this horse uh, drawing. I'm going to put one at the bottom of the foot. And uh, that's, this is going to hold it in place for now. I'm going to put one up here at the top of the, right at the back of the mouth on the uh, horse uh, skull drawing. My printer's acting up, that's why the color's really weird looking. Oh, and I just wanted to show you, and this is something else I showed last night. This is the size that I was making originally a couple days ago. I've decided to go uh, almost a third bigger on the horse because I just think that's just too small for what I want to do. Now I'm going to go up here to the point of the skull and put a nail right there. Not too deep, just deep enough to hold this place. I'm going to put one on the curve on the neck and one here where it changes direction. The back, the neck goes into the backbone and the backbone continues up this way. I'm going to put one right where the point of the hips are. That's where the hips meet the skeletal structure. And I'm going to put one where the uh, rib cage meets the uh, backbone. One where the rib cage starts its major curve. And then just a couple that follow the curve. This will all make sense very soon. And one right there. And then I want to put one right where the breastbone comes up. Right there. Now, I've got this uh, laid out. And I'm going to take some wire. And I want to cut off a length. Put the wire away. And as I said in the video a couple of days ago, I bend the end where the head is going to be so that I've got something for the clay for the head to mount on. It also helps me to anchor this wire. And then what I'm going to do is just bend around these nails like this. And uh, I want to get that one real tight. Let's see. Sorry if my hands are in the way. There we go. I want to bring it up to... In on the other side of this one so that I can wrap it around and bring it down to the outside of this nail. And that gives me the ending of the uh, rib cage and then up to the uh, breastbone. I bend it back a little, I exaggerate the bend. And then I want to bend it straight up to meet the backbone and then meet 
the backbone again by bending it to line up with the backbone. Let's get that right. There. And that's so that I can tape it to the backbone. All right, I'm going to cut the excess off. Not coordinated with these pliers at all. There. Now I got a bag down here for all these little wire pieces. Last thing you want is wire sticking in your carpet. And then I just uh, undo all this. And uh, lift it off the uh, nails. It takes coordination, and that's something I don't have a lot of. And then I just uh, line up with that, and I've got an automatic outline of the horse. And I can do that over and over again, and I can just tape that up uh, right there, and that will attach it to the backbone. And then I can attach the front legs and the back legs. Now, the video that's coming up, I show how to do the back legs. I forgot to turn on the camera while I was doing the front legs, but it's basically the same process, so you aren't missing anything. So that's how you make an, a horse armature using this method. All right, I forgot to turn the... Uh, <coughs> recorder on. I thought I had it on. What I'm doing is I'm doing a, a little jig here that uh, some people on the YouTube have suggested I do. A couple of uh, people. I think one guy was in Russia and another guy um, southern part of this country. But anyway, I'm putting these nails right where the joints are. I'm sorry I didn't show you the front legs, but the back legs will be fine. Um, and the joint for this uh, hawk here is right there. And so I'm going to, I mean, that back of the leg there. And uh, one there. And uh, one at the bottom of the hoof. Now, I'll put these nails away. And uh, that all went out of the way. Again, I'm making the uh, armature out of 16 gauge steel wire. Actually, this is 19 gauge steel wire. I'm going to make uh, three, actually four hind legs. So I got four horses. I'm just straightening out the wire a bit. I'm not worried about too much, but need to get it straightened up. And then I just. Uh, Find the center of the wire, crunch it, and I curl it because I have to have an anchor. And uh, put it around there. And now I just uh, put it around these uh, nails. Now I'm going to exaggerate the bend on this one uh, joint here because. I have to know right where the leg is, starts, and then the same thing here, and the same thing here. And then I just uh, weave them around the wires and straighten it out at the bottom of the hoof. And it's perfect. Just perfect. And I just pull it out like that. And I just straighten this part out. Because that's going to have to go against the backbone. And now I just uh, spread the uh, hind legs like that. And I have an armature for the hind legs. How cool is that? Easy as pie? Okay, this is a... Uh, a sculpture that I am not the owner of. I'm just a custodian of. You cannot buy this. So don't ask me where you can get one. You can't. It's just a... Uh, this was broken and at the foundry. And I brought it home and fixed it. And uh, 
glued it with super glue where it broke and it broke in a lot of places this is just plaster um, anyway an artist uh, made this uh, anatomical study of a horse and let's see if you can see it all the way around and it's it's helpful real helpful and uh, so anyway what I'm showing you is I bring the loop of the uh, wire right here at the back of the, the jaw or where the teeth start. That way I've got room enough for the mouth to open on the sculpture. If I have the wire all the way up to here and I mo open the mouth then I'm going to get wire showing in the armature, in the clay. So I bring it back to where the teeth start and about where the mouth would uh, extend to if, you, if he opened up his mouth. And I bring it up to the point of the skull where the uh, b bone of the skull meets the uh, neck bone. Now I know this isn't uh, anatomical jargon here, but I'm not an anatomist. Anatomic, well, I don't know the anatomy that well. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just follow the uh, neck structure for the uh, back bone of the uh, uh, armature, and I come to where the uh, hips meet the uh, backbone and then I come up back you know, I double it over and I come back to where the ribs meet the backbone and I bring it down and and point and, and then bend it and so I can follow this general line up to where the breastbone is and then I come back to the backbone and, and uh, join the backbone. Now I do the same thing with the uh, wire for the, the legs I do it from the backbone <coughs> I double it here so that I've got both wires going out this way uh, towards the front and then I bend both wires simultaneously to match the uh, shape of the leg bone or the angles and uh, then I attach it to the backbone and uh, I do the same thing with the uh, hind legs as well. I glued it all back together. The only part that I couldn't find was the little piece that broke out here in the front shoulder. But you can see how complicated the, the muscle structure of a horse is. And when I get done with the bending the wires for the legs, I spread them apart so that they are about the right distance for the points of the uh, shoulders. And the same with the uh, hind legs. I bend them back and this this part I don't worry about this part is where it joins up to the backbone and then I just sculpt this part all right um, that's gonna be it for today I just haven't uh, any more time I spent uh, several hours uh, after I made all these little armatures you can see the size comparison comparison uh, to this horse but uh, I've uh, researched for the last several hours uh, what I'm going to probably do. I've got to figure out how I'm going to do it now, and um, and I'll do that tomorrow. Um, and so anyway, I'll uh, call it quits for tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, by the way, the reason I leave so much at the bottom of the hoof is in case uh, you never know how much you need um, for the sculpture you're doing. So I always leave a little excess because then I can always cut. It's always easier to cut away wire than it is to add wire. Alright, that's it for tonight. Have a great evening.